Now the next few uh, arpeggios for the whole of this, the rest of the series are going to be a bit more of a step up from the last two because these ones are going to include more notes each because these are going to be based on the major uh, seventh and the minor seventh and the dominant. And so this lesson is going to focus on the major seventh. So let's just dive right into it. Again, based on the root of A on the fifth fret of the E string. Uh, so, and the major seventh arpeggio looks like this and sounds like this too. This is basically based on the major scale. Uh, it's the same position as the major scale. Just like with the major arpeggio, though, uh, we're just going to be focusing on a certain isolated group of notes from that particular scale rather than playing every single one of them. We're just going to be playing some of them. So then those notes that we'll be playing for this particular scale are A for the root, C sharp for the major third, E for the fifth, and then the new one for this scale is the major seven, and that's going to be this note here, which is your G sharp. Then we've got a A, and then we repeat that again C sharp, E, G sharp, A. So that's the notes for your scale. Now, to play the scale, need is A, and that's going to be on the, with your second finger on the 5th fret of E, then after that moving over to the A string, we've got uh, the 4th fret of your 1st finger, then uh, we're going to move up to the 7th the fret, get the E with your um, the pinky, note how this is very similar to the, the major arpeggio, uh, the only difference is that we're adding the G sharp, which is going to uh, add, alter the shape ever so slightly. But otherwise, it's pretty much based on the same shape as the major, the, the major arpeggio. Okay. Next up, we've got the uh, the sixth fret on the D string, and that's going to be played with your third finger. Then Pinky plays seventh fret on the D string. Going to get the A. Okay, after that we have this note here, the, the sixth fret on the G string played by your third finger. Then we're moving over to the B string, we're going to play fifth fret with your second finger. And we're going to end up here on the high E. And we've got a first finger playing the fourth fret to get the G sharp. And we're going to end on the A on the 5th fret of high E with your 2nd finger. And something else as well, when you're coming back down, you can also get this note here, which is also a G sharp, uh, which is the one below the root on the E. So that would be the 4th fret on low E, and that's played by your 1st finger because when you're, you're playing the, the root note with your second finger so it's pretty easy just to go down half a step to that G sharp below. It's a good way to end off the, uh, the, the arpeggio. Just add a sort of extra tone to that particular arpeggio so you can play it like this. Instead of just... an extra wee thing you can do and that's your major uh, 7 arpeggio.